When Alan Martinez enrolled at Sycamore Elementary as a third grader, he spoke no English. This exceptional student in Mexico worried about the most basic of communications. When I first came, I was really worried because I thought, what if I have an emergency? What if I hurt myself? What if I need to go to a restroom? I didn't know how to say anything of that. If you were to think about moving to another country, just getting your electric bills, you know, organized and getting apartments and everything else, it's the same thing for a child. They're learning how to negotiate in a classroom, find the bathroom, how does the cafeteria work. Martinez and hundreds of other students like him make Sycamore Elementary one of Tennessee's most diverse. The motto here is locally global, with a quarter of the student body speaking second and third languages. So there's an immediate recognition that we're all different and yet there's a lot of laughter and joy and, and commonalities. I think it's more of a part of what, how the atmosphere is in this school and it's because everyone cares about children are willing to work hard to make sure that they get what they need every day. Dana Siegel and Cassandra Watts help lead the school's English as a Second Language program. Named one of the nation's 20 exemplary by the U.S. Department of Education. Our kids are learning English, but they're learning American culture. How do we stand close to each other? How do we joke with each other? The community here, the family, the sense of bringing those students in and let, allowing them still to you know, keep their culture to be who they are, and I think a lot of parents really appreciate that. And we have built on that as a strength, that even in the community, uh, people move in this area because of how we acclimate the children into the building. ESL students meet an hour a day, four to five days a week, reading books and covering everything from grammar to culture. Of the many methods used, a favorite of the younger students is Digger and Sammy. When Seagull holds them a lot and, and Digger and Sammy talk in their ear, he tells Miss Seagull, then Miss Seagull tells us. Sycamore's ESL program is designed to celebrate diversity, and in a school that urges students to embrace their culture, one of the best examples is the We Are the World event. Our children who are representing different countries and flags downstairs will dress in their native attire and we'll march them in. Our children will stand and uh, celebrate the diversity that's in this building. It's now been two years since Martinez and his family relocated from Mexico. And after many new adventures and even a third place finish in the school's spelling bee, he's able to express his gratitude for his new Sycamore family. I care about a lot about this program because if it wasn't for it, for the program, right now I would be talking about half of what I talk now. To see a child know that they know and know that they can interact and that they're driving their own train at that point, it, it really is a gift that they give us all the time. For Shelby County Schools Report, I'm Ted Beasley.